Welcome back again guys, now it's here, and for today we're gonna continue of unlocking more endings, as we unlocked few endings in the previous chapter. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe button in order for me to make more content for you guys. Now let's enjoy playing the game. Where was I? Okay, I was here. Try to leave the theater, try to play with the crowd. If I play with the crowd, what can happen? Audience. Thinking fast, you look at the screen and begin to chant, to chant in run in tandem with the crowd. Okay. Are they? Audience. Okay. You feel the harshness of their collective gaze start to ebb away. The air in the theater become lighter once again. Uh, 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 really? You release other shaking. You release, you release air shakily, just realizing that you've been holding your breath earlier. You feel stuck. Surely you can't just up and leave now. Not after whatever all that was. The people around you all seem fine now. But there is no telling if they'd get aggressive at you for even moving too much. Never mind outright getting up and leaving. You decide to let this run its course. Hopefully someone will come along. Right? At least turn the film off. Or at least turn the film off. You continue to chant along with everyone. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 that's how you sh chant it. You start to feel lightheaded. You feel as if you could sleep, fall asleep, but your eyes don't feel heavy in the slightest. You try to look around and gag the other's emotion states. But you can't seem to look away from the screen. You try again, but you're still locked into the contact with the cat on screen. There's something wrong with that cat. There is something wrong with you, cat. Kitty! Uh-huh. Seriously? Oh my god. Let's try to just let's just try to blend with the people around here. You attempt to physically force your line to of vision away. You steal your nervous, ready to throw yourself to the ground if you need to. But your body only gets as far as tensing up for a moment before completely losing itself again, making you lie back limply into your seat. You think you should be panicking right about now, but even your brain feels limped. <laughs> your thoughts are vago, muted, pastel, pink. What? Airy. There is something wrong. Skinningly sweet and loosely spun. Like a cotton candy. You. You like cotton candy. You think you shouldn't mind your thoughts and body being like cotton candy either. So. Why get up and ruin that? It's nice here. You are more at peace than you've ever felt before in a such crowded room. Still chanting. You've never felt so aligned and in tone with another person. Let along with an entire room full of complete strangers. You are not... You are not alone. Out of the corner of your eyes, the person next to you starts to sink back even further into their chair. Okay. Then they think 
more then more not like they slushing or re reclining but more like they are what happened to them can you guys see oh kidding me deflating their skin punches up and wrinkles like fabric as if the muscles, the bones, have started to disintegrate. Their eyes dim before sinking into their sockets. The mouth still attempting to chant, falls open over cut of nya, gaping as the word ends in an awful hiss, a fine weak release of air. Oh, sorry guys, I cannot do anything about the noise. You must, you, you muse thoughtfully about whether or not you should be distressed at the sight. But even then, the blanket of peace doesn't leave you. Suddenly, from the pile of skin and clothes next to you, suddenly from the pile of skin next to you, lump moving, you see a lump moving around. You watch it, does fascination as the lump makes its way to the part of the skin where the head used to be and out from the mouth crawly a tiny black kitten that freck what kind of okay seriously you can hear a familiar hissing sound all around you now at the unfiled chance thought fade only to be replaced with the faint meowing of kitting, mewling of kitting. Finally, your voice is the only one still chanting, still human, and alone, again. You don't want that. You can't go back to that. Not again. Not again. Please. Just then, you go completely limp. Your body feels light, but it might as well weigh several tons. Because you realize quite suddenly that you can't move. Not an inch. You can't shift your eyes to look around. You can't even breathe. But somehow, that the chant continues to creak weakly from your mouth. Uh oh. A few kittens comes forward and perch themselves on the chair around you, watching your sinking body. Meowing, mewling as they wait for their youngest sibling to emerge from you. Dozens of glowing eyes peer down at you. Okay, this is weird. I don't even like this. Uh, how cute they are, and at the same time, they are freaking dangerous. And as your eyes start to cave into the sockets of your softening, softening skull, skull you manage... To make out the cell out of a familiar cat perching on the seat right in front of you. Your vision finally fades. And as that same haze of air expels itself from your mouth. The last thing you sense is something small and alive shifting, shifting eagerly under your skin. Ending happy. What? Okay, this is fucking weird. Happy birthday ending? I did not know that. Let's see, let's see, what is the happy birthday? Wow. Let's load again. Mm, try to leave the theater. This is too weird. I need to get out of here. Gathering your courage. Or perhaps putting your fear to use. You stand up. Fully intending to leave the theater. When everything comes to an abrupt stop. All of the chanting stops. Even the cats chanting on the screen. You, you tense and risk a glance around the theater. Uh oh. They are all staring at you. Every single one of them. They are not even blinking. You swallow. Throat suddenly dry, even though a nervous sweat completely sucks through your clothes. You highly doubt that sitting back down will fix the situation. 
Your legs are shaking under the audience uh, and truly intense scrutiny. But you force yourself to step forward and forward and forward until you finally reach the end of the aisle. You feel their collective gaze even worse on staircase. Oh, their heads have turned uncomfortably to the left to look directly at you. The screen illuminates, illuminates their face, making clear their blank skulls. They seem even more upset than they had been minutes ago. Indicate identical frown lines digging between their brows. You keep going. The heavy autumn fear becoming more and more aggressive with every step. You are so tense with anticipation. But you fully expect someone to grab at you from behind. But no one does. You don't hear any of them even get up. Your exit, you exit the theater holding your breath as the doors close behind you. You press a walk, walk through the halls, putting as much distance as possible between you and that theater full of people. Finally reaching the lobby, you just barely manage to catch yourself from falling to the floor as you gulp in huge gasp of air. <laughs> okay, I guess that was a hell of a situation we were in. You expect to f you expect to feel real life as your breathing calms, but you feel a lingering sense of dread that only spikes once you finally notice it, as well as its source. You look up, and your stomach sinks. What? There's people? Don't tell me. Oh, this is bad. What do you want, man? All the people in the lobby area of the movie theater, everyone in the line at the concession stand, all of them are staring at you, and they, they look even angrier than the people in the theater. You don't hesitate this time. You duck your head, avoiding the eye's contact, and leave the cinema. You ignore the glares of everyone in the ticket booth and the lines leading to them. You make your way home. What? Whenever you dare to look up at someone on the way, you flinch at the bluntly anger, fury, and disgust on their face. What's wrong with the people here? You think you start to hear the faint sound of a cat meowing behind you, or maybe a kitten. Seriously, doesn't matter. You just want to go home. Ah, you reach your front door and fumble with the keys. Cowering from the look of a pure hatred on your neighbor's face as he stares at you from his door. What are these people What's wrong with them? They are freaking crazy. Finally, you get inside your apartment. Lock all the locks on the door. And side down with your back against it tell you sitting on the floor. Against it tell you to stay in the room. <laughs> okay, we are still panting. <sighs> okay, you allow yourself a moment to breathe. Now home, your head, your head bait comes and your fear slowly bleeds from you, leaving you feeling strangely empty. Why is that? You pass the kitchen, head to your room, and slip under the covers of your bed, trying to fall asleep. Maybe it's just all bad dream. As you fall into a pitiful sleep, sure to be full of nightmares of glaring eyes, you try to ignore the ever-increasing sounds of cats snoring and yawning in the distance outside your apartment. Fred, black sheep. I became the black sheep? Okay. Let's see, endings. What are the black sheep? Okay, the black sheep. Where do I go? Where should I load this time? I just wanna load.
Look behind you. Keep running. I'm gonna keep running. You beat the maze. Okay, did I did beat the maze? Mm, load. What if I look behind me? Huh? Mm, oh, okay. Load. What about here? Leave the cat. What if I feed the cat? The cat must be hungry. Right? You can't imagine that it had much to eat if it's so attached to that box in it. Though it doesn't exactly seem malnourished. Malnourished either. Surely it must have left the box to search for both for food then. For some reason, something in the back of your mind tells you that's not the case. And not to think of it any further. Well, either way, you can't exactly enjoy your day out knowing you left behind a hungry cat. Especially when you could have done something to help. So, what to do about the hungry kitty? Look around the area. Check pockets. Let's check our pockets. Dive. Let's check our pockets. You dig into your pockets. You find a small piece of string in your left pocket. Not very helpful. The string is far too short. An eager and exist cat leaping for it. For it could easily lead you to getting a bitten and scratched. In your right pocket, it's a bar of chocolate. You find a chocolate bar. Uh, it's not. It's uh, nope. It's not even expired. Quite the find indeed. Well, I would love some chocolate at this moment. You are about to offer it to the cat. When suddenly you hit with a guilt, with a guilt as you remember something got cordling. Chocolate is toxic for cats. Oh my gosh, I'm so... Yeah, you resist the urge to vomit. The urge to vomit at your new mistake. Yeah, we shouldn't have done that. You feel so guilty, you throw the chocolate bar away into a nearby trash bin. An almost cat killer doesn't deserve chocolate. You go back to the cat, barely able to send its innocently obvious expression. Oh, what do you want, man? It doesn't even know you almost. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry. I don't know what to say. Meow. What was he gonna say? Okay, you're a horrible person. You, you know what? Stay there. I'll be right back. Okay, you leave the alley, the alley, and return with the whole fish you bought at the nearby grocery shop. It was a bit pricey. But it was the least you could do. Okay, mm. the cat eagerly accepts your offering, munching happily at the fish after you placed it in the box. Yeah, okay, he is happy. You want to smile at the sight, but you just feel so awful. Sorry again, the cat seemingly pays you no mind as you slip back out of the ally. Not feeling like you deserve a peaceful day out, you decide to just head back home. Uh, uh, what? On the way home, you notice more cats than usual watching you from their hiding spots. But you try not to think about it. Uh-oh. You can't help but wonder if they know what you'd nearly done. But, as if they know what we did... It's not like you meant to hurt anyone. Yeah, we didn't mean to hurt your friend, kitty. Okay, what now? Right? What? You finally reach your apartment building. You're about to unlock the door when... You are the fuck? Okay. There is a lot of them. You look behind you, only to see... A dozen of kittens standing there, looking at you. Did they see you feeding the cat in the alley, and thought that you had more food for all of them. 
I'm, so, uh, I'm sorry, I don't have any more food for you. None of them move an inch. You are starting to feel a little un unnerved. When finally, a single cat pushes its way to the front end. Oh, 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 it's here. Well, we didn't, I didn't meant to give you that. It's held carefully between its teeth. It is, it's the chocolate bar you've thrown away earlier. It places the chocolate bar down in front of it before looking back up at you. All the cats looks up at you. You can feel their judgment. Uh, uh, you feel sense weighing down heavily on your back. But without any, without the money to buy enough food for all of them, you don't know what to do. Uh, I better save. Um, I should pick, pick forgiveness. You collapse to your knees and bow down low as you start to earnestly beg for their forgiveness. I'm sorry, I swear. I uh, do anything to make it up to all of you, but... But you are out of options. Suddenly. What? <laughs> what, what? What did you guys? You feel something stare in your stomach and swim its way up to your throat. Closing off your air airway as it tries to force its way out of your isof isofogos. What? <laughs> it finally succeeds with aid. From your helpless gagging. What the frick? They killed us. Oh my god. What's that? Lying on the ground in front of you. What is this? It's a floating fish. Floating fish. You just throw up a living fish. What? What the hell? The cats came rushing forward, all tearing hungry at the fish. You are happy to finally be of help, truly, but now... Uh, you throw up another fish. That's weird. And another. What the fuck? What the fuck is wrong? Why you are throwing some unlimited fish? And another. Okay, and your stomach hurts. Your stomach hurts. You are getting dizzy. You fall to your knees. Tears and snot are streaming down your face. By the time you cough up, finally, tiny bloody fish and collapse forward. Your throat and stomach both born in a way that feels dangerous. You start to fade out. Despite the pain... You strangely feel a more overwhelming sense of hopeful pride that you've made up for your disgusting actions, that you've been forgiven. Okay. Uh huh. The sound of a happy cat munching away at the fish fills your ear. Then. Okay, you feel something being nudged nudge into your hand. This feels like it's the bar of chocolate you, fo you found in your pocket. He, <laughs> you smile weakly. You successfully atoned, but you don't really have the strength to eat your reward. Sadly, the last taste in your mouth as you leave this mortal call doesn't get to be that of chocolate, but raw fish. <laughs> I don't even like that. That's fishing pole for pardon, really. What kind of winding did we cut here? Where is it? Seriously, we got the ending, the 24 ending. Okay, I'm gonna load. Let's say, um, go inside. What if I went inside? You decide to. Cut your loses and head inside. You sense way down on you, but you are only a human. What more can you do? Gee, you try to ignore the yawling 
of the neighborhood cats as you go about your chores. You consider preparing dinner, but how could you enjoy joy knowing how hungry those poor cats outside are? The ones you've wronged. You decide to take a bath, a bath and go straight to bed without dinner. A fitting punishment for someone like you. You... You forego the fancy bath bubbles because you don't deserve them and sink into the water with a say. Your mind races, but you can't really think of any immediate solution that doesn't repair more money. Require. You wish there was something, anything you could do to make things right. Suddenly, your legs start to feel really itchy. You try to lift one to see what's going on, but what rises out of the water isn't a pair of legs. What? What? We became a fish? It's a fish tail. You, you feel dizzy at the sight. Maybe you are hallucinating from the, st from the stress. You try to climb out of the tube to cool your head, but instead of your hand rising up to brace itself, but a, a wet fine stretch out to plop on the rim. It's too weak to hold your way, and you are so startled by the side. What the fuck? That you slip and smack your head on the side of the bathtub, passing out almost immediately. You, you are awake, you think anyway. You open eyes and you, you are underwater. You must have slid beneath the surface of the bath water you gasp intensively. Expect not really. Uh, you became a fish now. A bubble simply flew out of your mouth. Up, up, up to the surface. You are broke as heck. So you know your bathtub isn't that big. Did, did you shrink? But how? And even if there were a reasonable answer, it will explain how you haven't drowned yet. You swim to the edge of the tube and see the truth in your shadow, shadow silhouette. You are a fish. You've been torn into a fish. This, this is impossible. You don't get any time to ponder over this, unfortunately. Because just then... A shadow looms over you from above. Oh my god. You look up and see the cat. It peers down at you from beyond the water surface. Uh oh. And then... Then you realize. This is the answer. This is how you're meant to atone. Seriously, with every heart. You swim up to the surface. Okay, they are eating us now. The cat scoops you up, tossing you out of the tube and onto the bathroom tiles. As you flop around gasping for air or water, you realize the cat wasn't alone. Oh, dozen of hungry eyes pour down at you. You can hear the yelling of what sounds like hundreds of cats outside your bath window. You send one last look to the cat before closing your eyes and accepting your fate. Ah, oh, damn it. As the cat descends upon you, tearing at your, fish, at your flesh, you find yourself mourning the fact that you've not even big enough to feed all of them. <sighs> even in the end, you can probably atone. Your effort, your life, all of it, amounted of nothing. That's bad. Seafood self sacrifice. Ending. We got the ending 25. The 25 ending. Where is it? There you go. We got the ending. The 25 ending. 
What if I play it? What if I play it with the cat? Okay. We tried to feed the cat. It didn't help us at all. Uh, play with the cat. Well, we did try to feed the cat. It did not help us at all. Mm. Play with the cat. Yeah, what's gonna happen? Meow, meow. Oh, you just want a little attention, don't you? Oh, okay. You're happy. The poor thing must have been bored sitting in that box all, all day. You're not sure you are much of an interesting companion. But you are willing to do your best. There's got to be something you can entertain a little critter. There is... But what? Chip pockets, look around the area. Look around the area. Wait, I'm gonna save. Oh, I haven't done anything yet. Oh yeah, I need to do something there. I will do that. Return. I mean, we'll get, we'll get back to that. Look around the area. You search around. But there is really nothing in the ally that looks interesting enough for the cat to play with. So maybe... How about the game? Okay, you decide on a game you've known since childhood. Red light, green light. A classic. Teaching a cat how to play might be a bit of a challenge. But you get the feeling the... The felons... Natural hunting instinct will help it alone. Long. You walk to the entrance of the alley, the cat meowing at you. Okay. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. You exaggerate your movement, covering your eyes with your hands and turn around. One, two, three. Okay. Red light. You spin around. Oh, the cat is still there. The cat isn't left, hasn't left the box, tilting its head at you in curious confusion. Uh, save. It's on. Try something else, keep playing, let's keep playing. You try again, this time you go a bit slower. One, two, three. Okay, red light. When you turn around this time. Oh, the cat is out of the box. The cat freezes under your stare. As if it thinks you can't see it if it doesn't move. So cute. Satisfied that the cat is getting the hang of the game. You turn again, speeding back up. One, two, three. Red light. You turn around. The cat is a few steps away from the box now, peeking out from behind a dumpster. Its eye trained rather intensely on you. Intensely on you. Okay, well, at least it's having fun, right? You turn again and feel a sudden chill run down your spine. What? You feel silly, but you can't help counting just a little faster than this time. One, two, three, red light. Whirling around after saying red light, you look at the cat. It's halfway down the alley, closer to you now, but what's wrong with it? It is as if the perspective of what you're seeing is off somehow. Doesn't the cat look a little bigger? Its people are thin, slight now. Okay, Katie, something wrong with you? Something, something is not right. Oh, the cat meows at you again, but it sounds much deeper than earlier. It crouched down as if poised to lunge forward. You breathe chatter a little as your head starts to raise. Your foot instinctively shifts back. 
Uh oh. Oh, the cat. What's going on with you, man? You freeze immediately. The cat looks impatient. It it wants to keep playing, but you go up and turn around, swift counting and toning again as you gasp out. One, two, three, red light. Oh my god! Crash! The ground shakes as you walk back around. You find yourself staring at the long surface of black fuel. You slowly look up and up and up. Oh, to see a giant shadow figure leering. What the hell? This is down from its possible hush, hunched over you. How after that get it turned into a monster? Look at the freaking cat. Get in. What's wrong with you? Fangs dripping with saliva. Claws crashing into a concrete, concrete walls of the ally. Its glowing eyes are unblinking as they look back at you. The cat waiting for your next turn. But it is so close. It's if you turn around now, you you don't want to play anymore. Okay, I. How about I back up? Keeping your eyes strained, trained on the giant looming over you, you take a step back. No, that's cheating. Run, restore back up. Where? Begin restoring. Restoration. B. You were? Uh, what is this? What are you doing? Stop! The cat says as you keep one contact and back up. Step back and back. And as you take one more step back out of the ally. Go home. We better go home. Go home, run, man. Error. What? What's wrong? Error again. No, fuck it wrong. Loading will... No, no. What happened? What happened? The world outside the ally seems to be broken. What exactly did you do? I don't know. Ending the error found. A few moments later. I still want to go to the park. You decide to take a stroll in the park or something. The only one within walking distance is the nearby dog park. You think it makes you feel better. First, you get to see cute cat today. Now, you'll get to see a cute dog. Several of them, in fact. The park is bustling with owners. And, and their canyon companion. Playing frisbee, pitch, running, jumping, even napping. Such a cutie. Whatever. Huh? Like you want anything to do with these mini mutes. Who is that? What's wrong? You didn't think that. Hmm, you decide to move on. The dog are all so adorable. You want you want to pet every single one you across you come across. But you know, not all owners are cool with strangers just walking up and manhandling their pets. Not all dogs appreciate it either. So you stroll around the pass, trying to execute a welcoming aura that will beacon, beacon one of these cute doggies to you. You don't have to wait very long. Buck. 
You stop at the smallest, cutest puppy you've ever seen. Scampers. Up to you. Blocking your pass. Kick the puppy, kill the puppy, eat the puppy, pick up the puppy. If I leave the park here, what can happen if I kick the puppy? What? It's just a puppy. There's no way I would ever do that. <laughs> How about you kill the puppy? <laughs> no, that's horrible. There's no way I would ever do that. <laughs> it's like we are ordering the person and our own thought or the character in the game will talk to us back. <laughs> Eat the puppy. How about you do that, man? <laughs> okay, that's disgusting. I think I'm going to be sick. There's no way I would ever do that. Okay, man, okay, you can pick it up. Pick up the phone. What happened? Drop it, hold on. Oh. Ah! What happened? Terrified, you dropped the puppy to the ground. Practically throwing it from you. Okay, there was a timer. I saw it there. If we ran to the time, if the timer ran out and we didn't even choose either option, uh, our character is gonna go with throwing the puppy to the ground. I'm sorry, puppy, I didn't mean that. You immediately feel horrible, wincing in a guilt. At the tiny yelp, it releases open, hitting the ground. The owner shoves you aside with a cutting glare and storms away with their puppy. I'm sorry, man. You call out, but they don't turn back or respond. Not that you expected them to. Hmm. You deserve it. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, man. You're not feeling so great about being at the park at the moment. Maybe you should leave. Mm -hmm. Stay at the park. You stay at the park. Who is that? Someone is talking to us. We try to calm down and by watching all the dogs from afar as you walk along the path. But every so often, one will run up to you. What's happening with them? And when they do, they look wrong. The owners don't seem to notice. You find a bench and sit down for a quick break, closing your eyes. Maybe. Maybe. This wasn't the best idea after all. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Maybe... You should have stayed with me instead. Uh-oh. Oh, come on. Oh, that was my preference. Uh, it's still the same. Return. You are broken out of your thoughts when something lands gently on your lap. You look down and see frisbee on your thighs. Hey, sorry about that. Can you throw that back? You look up to see an owner waving at you in the distance. But more importantly... Wait, who is that? There's some dog is coming to us. Hi, hi man, hi man. Can you slow down? Okay, the dog doesn't know. I, I think a series of excited barks chats. Your guys forward, and you see a large dog sprinting toward you. Wait. Can you guys... <laughs> Can you guys see the expression here? Okay. A series of excited chests. Your guys forward, and you see a large dog sprinting toward you. Hey, hurry, and throw it back. Uh, what if I don't throw it back? Leave, leave, leave. What? <gasps> okay. The dog suddenly bounds at you, angry, furious, furious. It is... What? It is your limbs? Do you live from your body? Oh, okay. Okay. Was... Was that real? What happened there? You are not feeling so great about being at the park at the moment. Maybe you should leave. Uh, if I leave, what's gonna happen? Good. We are back where we were. I still wanna go there. I'm gonna skip it. It's gonna be the same, I guess. What if I leave here? You leave. Leave, leave. Leave, leave, dogs are stupid and they all deserve, deserve what, man? 
you. What? Who is that talking to us? I think it's that kitty. The kitty, the, the kitten that we thought they are skewed and <gasps> cute. Uh, what if I hold on to it? You just barely managed to rein in the reflex to throw the puppy as far away from you as possible. With the snacking, snake shaking hands, you quickly place the puppy on the grass, take several jerky steps back. The owner seems confused by your reaction to the puppy, but you just wave at them in a daze, in a daze, before hastily stumbling away. <laughs> okay, that was kind of embarrassed. You are not feeling so great about being at the park at the moment? Maybe you should leave. Nah, I'm gonna stay. What can happen if we said you stay at the park? It says like... Sounds like that kitty really is talking to us inside our mind, inside our head. You try to calm down by watching all the dogs from afar as you walk along the path. But every so often, one will run up to you. And when they do, they look wrong. The owners don't seem to notice. Oh, you find a bench and sit down for a quick break, closing your eyes. This wasn't the best idea after all. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe now what? You should have stayed with me instead. What do you have if I don't stay with you, man? Uh-oh. This is bad. You... You are broken out of your thoughts when something lands gently on your lap. You look down and see a frisbee on your thigh. Hey, sorry about that. Can you throw it back? You look up to see an owner waving at you in the distance. But more importantly... Who's that? Okay, it's the dog. I remember this dog. Okay, fine, I'm gonna... I can't skip it, I guess. Can I skip it? Leave. Throw, throw, throw. You throw the frisbee on the dog. If I leave, probably I'm gonna leave the park again. Anyway, let's continue with our dialogue here. You throw the frisbee on the dog. And the dog runs in the opposite direction, jumping and catching it right out of there. Huh, okay, impressive. The dog and the owner walks up to you. Thanks for that, you can pet him if you want to. Oh, doggy, the dog looks up to you, eager for this reward. And pets of pets and pads of catching the frisbee for catching the frisbee. Should I? If I leave, I guess I'm gonna leave the park. So I'm gonna pet the dog. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm warning you. Do not touch that mute. Or you will regret it. Uh oh. Nine, nine, pet the dog, man. What's gonna happen if you pet it? If you pet it? Nothing happen, right? Nothing gonna happen, right? You reach out your hands. What now? And you pet the dog. Okay, the dogs are happy. The dogs seem pleased. Uh-huh. You don't feel well? Suddenly. What? The sky begins to darken rapidly. Uh-oh. You look up. Along. Along. With all the pet owners to see that the sun has been eclipsed by the moon. In the blink of an eye, you vaguely remember that you should never look directly at an, an, at an eclipse. You vaguely remember that you should never look directly at an eclipse, but for some reason, you don't look away. Uh oh. Wow. Don't tell me it's another big monster now. A loud feasting yell fills the air, shaking the ground beneath you. You instinctively move to lift your hands in order to shield your ears. But... But the hand that been cautiously pressed up in the dog's head comes away with some resistance. Resistance like sticky slime almost come, 
committing your hands to the dog's head. The slime stretches with your movement. Uh oh. Ew, this is bad. The dog's head stretches with it too. With it too. As a cannon begins to just melt. What the heck is going on? It melts and melts. And what? And until it becomes a pile of goo at your feet. Ah, oh, okay, you dazzly look around for the dog owner only to find an empty pile of familiar clothes where they once stood. Either this is imagination or this is unreal, man. You s okay, I'm gonna stop it. You seem similar. You see similar piles of clothes next to piles of goo scattered all across the park, open field. All the dogs, all their owners. The, the melted goo of the dog in front of you then starts to move with each other. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's so. It's it slithers across the grass toward the field in the center of the park. All the other piles of goo falling after it. Okay, wait. Wait, man. Okay. They mix and mold together into a single entity that shifts underneath and bugs and grows. You watch in Dad's horror as it falls out and, and shapes itself. Okay, this is bad. If there is something turning, uh oh. Uh oh, this is bad. Into a behemoth of a dog. Snarling and front frothing at the mouth, red eyes frantic and sashing. Before the glowing orbs lands directly on you. Uh, this, okay, this is bad. It is, it's like this, the the big city. I mean the big kitty. The behemoth kitty. We, we got our bad ending. Before this. And now this dog. Really. The rumbling growls. It melts. It emits. It's so low and deep. You can feel the sound of it crash into you. <laughs> we better leave. What? Okay, what is it, Kitty? Now, no, you had your chance. Better start running. Oh, oh, this is bad. You try to run, but you are not fast enough. The behemoth barely takes a few leaves before it's already towering over you. Oh, come on, I'm just a human. What did I do wrong? Wreck. Damn it. It is your part until there is nothing left. Ending dog passing. Wow. I'm just gonna quit.